content one of the privileges of public service to have the opportunity to meet so many men and women whose lives are a study in commitment, perseverance, and love. Bermuda's senior citizens represent a wealth of wisdom and examples of what is best about our story as a people. In the summer of 2018, I announced a plan to introduce interest-free loans provided by the government of Bermuda to assist families determined to have seniors age in place in the comfort of their own homes. I'm pleased to be joined today by my colleagues, the Minister of Public Works and the Minister of Health, who, along with the Minister of Finance, have worked together to bring this proposal to reality. I am also joined by the Deputy Speaker, Derek Burgess, who previously served as Chair of the Aging Well Committee, and Senator Ianthea Simmons-Wade, who currently chairs the Aging Well Committee. I am pleased also to have with us representatives from the Buda Housing Corporation and Dr. Claudette Fleming of Age Concern, who will partner with the Government of Bermuda in this initiative. We believe that after a lifetime of hard work to secure their homes, seniors should not have to face the prospect of re-encumbering that asset or even surrendering it in instances where some basic modification can see them live out those special years in familiar and comfortable surroundings. Through the Bermuda Housing Corporation and in conjunction with Age Concern, families will be able to apply for interest-free loans up to $15,000 to support home modifications to promote their senior loved ones remaining at home as opposed to rest home care. The simple installation of bathroom fixtures, ramps, and railings can make living at home more accessible for seniors. As indicated when this was first announced, fixtures and fittings for these purposes will be duty free. $500,000 has been dedicated to this initiative, and I know this money will be well spent, well spent in support of the people of Bermuda. The hardworking team at the Bermuda Housing Corporation have created an easy application form for completion, which will be available on the Bermuda Housing Corporation's website, www.bhc.bm, and also at the Bermuda Housing Corporation offices on Church Street. The applications will be subject to a basic assessment by Age Concerns team to verify the proposed modifications and thereafter process quickly so that work can begin. We will work with seniors and families at the front end to ensure that the repayment of the loans is manageable and regular. The fulfillment of this pledge speaks to our values as a government. It speaks to our belief that we have to listen to our people and be strong enough to ensure that every Bermudian that needs a hand up gets a hand up. For our seniors, we listened to your concerns around pensions, and from listening to you, we took action and ensured that seniors' pensions will be increased every year. We listened to your concerns, the concerns around your family, around nursing homes, and we raised standards for nursing homes and gave the Ministry of Health greater power to investigate and intervene in those facilities against potential neglect and abuse. For our taxi drivers, many of them who are seniors, we provided a payroll tax cut of 60%. And most importantly, this month, every family, including our seniors, will see a reduction in the cost of their electricity bills due to the hard work of the Governor of Bermuda in conjunction with the regulatory authority. This government is determined to provide a hand up for Bermudians of all ages, whether it be our children in education, whether it be our working adults with payroll tax relief, whether it be access to higher education through College Promise, or this new interest-free loan initiative that is, will provide further support for our seniors who work to build a country that remains among the most blessed in the world. Now, I'm pleased to invite my colleague, the Minister of Public Works, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, we are delighted to join with the Ministry of Health um, in this partnership for seniors. I will say that this is um, a project that we've been working on for some time along with a few others, um, not yet ready for prime time, but it's an area where we have a keen interest in addressing the needs of seniors, and this is an occasion where it's, it's a delight to be able to do it. As the Premier mentioned, this is one of the occasions when um, the constituency of seniors is one that is very easy to um, 
work hard for because they are always appreciative and thankful for every effort that's made on their behalf. So we're delighted to join um, with the Ministry of Health in being able to provide this opportunity for seniors. And I encourage everyone to reach out to the Housing Corporation. Um, as the Premier indicated, the application form is fairly straightforward um, so that we can see some progress in this regard. Thank you. Okay. Happy for any questions. Correct. And a total of five hundred thousand dollars has been allocated to this. In the um, in the first instance, yes. In the first instance, mm -hmm. is there plans to increase that? Budget? If necessary, if there is high enough take up, certainly. Sure. Um, you talked about a, a basic assessment uh, that would be conducted uh, for for I guess by age concern to to um, look at those individual applications. Can you talk a little bit more about what that uh, assessment looks like? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, we are excited about this partnership, let me say that first. Um, our interest is to help with the social aspects of the assessment. Uh, so we um, will be deploying our social worker uh, into the community, um, out of the office, into the home of the senior. And the social assessment will really to be um, looking at those issues that are non-financial are related, so what the exact needs are. Um, the modifications um, uh, that are required by uh, particular professionals. We will be using a social worker, but we're also open to use uh, occupational therapists um, as well and other professionals uh, in that field. Once we do that, uh, we will be giving that information back to the Bermuda Housing Corporation. We, we hope to work with the Office on Aging and Disability to really look at that data that we collect to inform others who are overseeing the program of whether it's working, whether it needs to be expanded, whether it's enough uh, money, um, and the social conditions that we find. So would it be fair to say that from, from your end, um, the assessments will look at, at the needs really of the, the applicants rather than a, the, the, their, their financial situation? It, we will look at the social uh, aspect of it, yes. Okay. And the Bermuda Housing Corporation will deal with the financial aspect. Okay, appreciate that. Uh, I'm not sure if this follow-up is, is best uh, directed to you or somebody else. Um, how will these loans, I guess, be guaranteed? Okay, so I'll hand it over to you. All right. um, the issue is not necessarily the loans are being guaranteed. Uh, the fact is that the loans will be issued um, in good faith by the government of Bermuda. There is no particular uh, point in time of guarantee at this um, at this moment of juncture. Okay. As was stated inside of the statement, that may vary. Of course, we may talk about issues where there are family resources which may be available so they can be done quicker, but we're not going to do anything that's going to put a senior in a bad position or a family that's in a bad position. Because what this is about is about reducing overall costs to the system to allow people to stay and age in place at home, as opposed to if someone may have had a stroke, have difficulty with mobility, now have to move to a different thing or have more persons assist someone because their home is not able to be accessible. So we're talking about, of course, bathroom fixtures, toilets, railings, and possibly ramps, which may or may not be needed inside of the house. How does this fit in with Habitat for Humanity, I believe, is doing something similar uh, as far as not offering money, but they are actually coming in and doing repairs? Mm -hmm. What I'd say is that it's a community effort in which to take care of our seniors and the work with the Aging Well Committee, uh, which was formerly chaired by uh, uh, MP Derek Burgess and now by Senator Ianthe Simmons Way, will continue to look at how we can advance and make sure that as a country we are helping our seniors. But I would say they're complementary. I know there are other organizations that are assisting, but we're, as the government, putting money up to make sure that we can take care of the seniors. Um, I think so. Um, from a food cost perspective, absolutely. The thing is that the government has had a record of uh, reducing uh, duty on essential goods, and we are continuing to work to make sure that those matters are passed on. 
um, but is something that remains a focus. Cost of living has always been something that has been on the top of line of uh, our residents. But if you look at the four aspects where we have uh, the cost of living and the facts of the cost of living, number one, the issue of housing. The fact is the government has committed to a mortgage guarantee program, and we, are, uh, we know that we'll be able to launch that program in the second quarter of this year, uh, following some moves from the Bermuda Monetary Authority. We, energy is another thing. We have seen reduction in energy bills, which is the first time the government's been able to get up and actually say that energy bills will be lower than they were before. We've seen the action of which we've taken on health care reform through Minister uh, Kim Wilson, and it is a fight, but we have to make sure that we have a fairer and better system where we have uh, caps on co-pays, caps on specialist fees to make sure that overall inside of the economy people are spending less money on health care and controlling those costs. The final aspect of the item is food. The government has reduced duty on essential items. The government has committed to making sure that we work with alternative persons to deliver food, to, um, to possibly bypass the middlemen, and to provide cheaper costs of food. Um, one of the things I can say today, I don't want to necessarily step on this announcement, is that MP Derek Burgess, I've asked him to step up to chair the Cost of Living Commission as he's no longer chairing the Asian Wealth Committee, and I'm sure that he will put additional fervor into our efforts on that behalf because he's been a fierce advocate for seniors at every point in time in his career, and I certainly think that we can have a little bit more energy from the government side dealing with the Cost of Living Commission. Could you clarify what you mean when you say Absolutely. I'm happy to tell that. And I've told this story before, but I'm happy to tell this story again. Before I came into office, I met with um, uh, someone who is in the supermarket business, and I asked that particular individual, um, what can we do to reduce costs of food? And that particular individual said, to reduce costs of food, we'd have to cut out the middleman, and we can reduce costs of food by 15% tomorrow, but I'm not willing to do that. That is the sign of an imperfect economy. Because in a larger economy, that 15% would be found by competitors who would automatically say, I'm going to provide something at a lower cost for that particular point in competition. We don't have that here in Bermuda. One of the challenges that we have are competition. So the fact is, from the government's perspective, we recognize it as an imperative. Uh, MP Derek Burgess was in a meeting with me last week where we were meeting with persons who were looking at providing alternative imports of food where the middleman is uh, cut out and so that we can have a lower cost of food to the people that are being provided with it. That's just an example. It is an imperfect system. You would not find that anywhere else in the world, but Bermuda is another world. The government has to step up and take action, and the government will step up and take action because as we've seen on health care, and as we've seen on energy, and as we've seen on the issue of mortgages, the government has actually stepped up and put its money where its mouth is, and on the issue of food, we'll do the same thing. Before the questions? No? Okay. Thank you.